Thanks for choosing our mold for your power candles. This short video will show you how to use this mold to make fantastic power candles, but also how to take care of it to keep it in top shape. This floating candle mold is made of high quality transparent plastic and is heat resistant up to 80 degrees centigrade. It's great for making both paraffin or plant wax candles with or without fragrance. In addition to your mold, you'll need a few items to make your floating candles. First pick your wax. For best results, we would recommend using high performance melt blend wax, RCX melt blend wax or golden wax 494 with this mold, but you can always experiment with your preferred wax. You may also want to use a fragrance in your floating candle. When looking for a perfect scent, make sure to pick an oil that has been optimized for candle making. Make sure you have scales, a double boiler and a pipette at hand along with a thermometer. You will also need a tea light wick. First start by melting your wax to the recommended temperature. If you're using a candle shack wax, you can find usage recommendations on its product page. For example, if using HPM, it melted at 75 degrees centigrade. Then add your fragrance at a recommended temperature and stir it around for one minute until the mixture is homogenous. When your fragrance wax reaches its pouring temperature, slowly pour it into your mold cavities to your desired height. Then add the tea light wick to the center of each cavity. When your candles have fully set, which is usually after about 2 hours, gently pop them out of the mould. Leave your candles secure at room temperature for 48 hours. They are then ready to be placed into a container of water and lit. Once you get comfortable using your mould, don't hesitate to experiment and tinker with your recipe to make it your own. Try different fragrances, add bold dyes, dip them in coloured wax, the sky's the limit. You can even decorate your candles with candle pens to create unique and eye-catching designs. Your candles should demold cleanly and leave very little wax residue, so the mold can usually be refilled with no cleaning between fills. However, if you do want to clean your mold, use a soft sponge and washing up liquid, then rinse with water and dry it with a microfiber cloth. Avoid using abrasive sponge pads as the mold can be scratched very easily. 